Yo lads, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I've got some exciting news for massive Call of Duty fans. You know the creators behind such fucking great games. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah, I'm fucking joking lads. I don't think Call of Duty Ghosts is a good game. That game was fucking shit. Well, the original devs behind those games left Infinity Ward many moons ago to join Respawn Entertainment or form Respawn Entertainment which you may know created Titanfall 1, Titanfall 2. Titanfall 1, not many people liked it. It fucked off single player, just focused on multiplayer only before multiplayer only games were a massive thing apart from your MMOs like Guild Wars, World of Warcraft and lots of people were pissed off with the first game. Then in 2016 they released Titanfall 2 which was a critically underrated game in my opinion, the game was fantastic, had a great single player campaign, great multiplayer, but the multiplayer died off damn fucking fast. Well, those devs behind those amazing games have now gone back to Infinity Ward. Yep, there's rumours and news absolutely everywhere. Some of the employees at Respawn Entertainment then changed their current employment back to Infinity Ward, saying they have left Respawn Entertainment and gone back to Infinity Ward. Now, the original reason they left Infinity Ward in the first place was a disagreement with Activision. They seem to have patched things up. So this may mean we might actually get some decent Call of Duties from Infinity Ward going forward. Because Ghosts were shit and Infinite Warfare was shit. If you know anything about Call of Duty, you'll know when these people left. Infinity Ward went to shit. And it really shone through in Call of Duty Ghosts. So they tried doing like a Levolution sort of thing like Battlefield did, but instead you've got shitty lampposts and tiny, tiny objects falling over and they were meant to impact how you played multiplayer. Needless to say, that didn't catch on. None of the next Call of Duty's used it. It was a shit copy of Battlefield's Levolution and everybody bar the cod cocksuckers because like T-Martin, Ali and Drifter at the time, they were all riding that shit. Everybody looked at it as shit. It was just a shit copy of Battlefield, which failed. And Call of Duty Ghosts in general, I'm going to have a bit of tangent here, was just a shit game. Campaign was rubbish. Multiplayer was rubbish. Extinction was the best part of Call of Duty Ghosts. And that was just Infinity Ward's shit attempt at trying to beat Treyarch's zombies, which no one has ever done. Spec Ops was really fun. They decided to fuck that off and put Extinction in its place. No idea what the fuck they were thinking, I'll be honest. Then we got Infinite Warfare, which was futuristic bullshit. Nobody asked for. Everybody wanted to go away from the futuristic shit. As is evident this year, Black Ops 4 is still getting dislikes because it's futuristic saying nobody wants that. But Infinity Ward decided to plod ahead with that bullshit and everybody hated the game. Even though the campaign was pretty good in Infinite Warfare, I've played it at some of my friends' houses. Pretty decent because I'm not purchasing that pile of shit. But multiplayer sucked. I'm not even sh And it did have zombies and the zombies was fucking dreadful. Now with the original heads of Infinity Ward back at Infinity Ward, we might actually start to see some decent games produced from Infinity Ward. Because usually when it rolls around to Infinity Ward, it's time to create the new Call of Duty. I'm just like, well, that's fucking shit. I write it off. I write it off for the year and say, I'm not even going to buy that. I'm not going to cover that. Cause I don't even want to give them any spotlight. Treyarch is the only one I believed I could trust up until now. It feels like we're saying this every single year, lads. Cause we don't like one Call of Duty, then we don't like the next. Let's wait another year. So Infinity Ward are next in line to create a good Call of Duty. Hopefully with them back at the studio, we may see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. That is what I want. Shit, even a Ghosts 2 couldn't be as bad as the futuristic bullshit and just ugh, the monstrosity we had with Call of Duty World War 2. If they manage to do worse games than those, then I fucking lose faith. I just lose faith in Call of Duty as a franchise. I keep saying it year after year. This will be my last year. This will be my last year. I'm disappointed with Black Ops 4, it looks shit, it may turn out to be a fucking fantastic game, I highly, highly doubt that lads, unless you're a cod cocksucker who's saying it looks good from now, it looks like a damn disappointment, it's more futuristic shit we didn't ask for, I just wanted them to do World War 2 correctly, and we've just had Battlefield leaked, well, basically teased, it is going to be set in World War 2, so COD's going to have a, have a hard fucking year this year, beating off Battlefield. <laughs> Gay! I didn't even mean to make that joke, lads. That, that sounded pretty dirty, but... Yeah, they're going to have to try and beat Battlefield, which I, d I don't think they're going to do, especially if it's set in World War II. Look how well Battlefield 1 sold. 
So by the time it rolls around to Infinity Ward making Modern Warfare 4, if that's what they make, sales will fucking skyrocket. Because we all know Battlefield do two or three year development cycles, and there's none in between. So in time for Infinity Ward to release Modern Warfare 4, it won't have much competition, and it will just steamroll everybody who's a loyal fan of the Modern Warfare franchise. In my opinion, that's the best franchise, or I, you can guess you can say IP, that Call of Duty's ever done. I prefer it to Black Ops, prefer it to Ghosts, definitely. Prefer it to the old ones. I even prefer it to World at War. Modern Warfare was the perfect trilogy for me. Now, they might make it shit with Forks. We damn fucking know there'll be loot boxes in it. That's just, that's just a given. There'll be microtransactions in every single Call of Duty going forward, and you'd be naive not to think so, unless loot box laws get passed in every single country at the minute it's only in europe the us still allow still allows them canada still allows them the uk still allows them and they're their biggest markets until they all make them legal they're gonna fucking continue lads i hate to say that okay so for those of you wanting to know the actual developers back at infinity ward who left for Respawn Entertainment back in 2010. I'm going to list them off for you. Now, this is according to a Reddit user who has been looking at their LinkedIn profiles, which is basically a social media platform for looking for work and staying where you're currently working and finding new jobs. So if you've never looked at LinkedIn, look it up. Now, the first one is Jeffrey Smith, former designer at Infinity Ward, moved to Respawn to be lead game designer. He's now multiplayer design director at Infinity Ward. Joel Emsley, former art leader at Infinity Ward, moved to Respawn to be art director. Mark Grigsby, he was former lead animator at Infinity Ward, moved to Respawn to be lead animator. Rannon Serrano, former senior animator at Respawn, he is now senior animator at Infinity Ward. John Mundy, senior game designer at Respawn, now the senior game designer at Infinity Ward. Joshua Dunham, former senior environment artist at Respawn, now senior environment artist at Infinity Ward. Don McCarthy, former producer at Respawn, now producer at Infinity Ward, and Madison Cromwell, former art producer at Respawn, currently the associate producer at Infinity Ward. Now this just means good things for Infinity Ward Call of Duty going forward. Those people all had massive roles at Respawn Entertainment. Now this does spell trouble for Respawn's games going forward. Titanfall 3 might not be as good as it should have been when it releases, because major key people have left to go back to Infinity Ward, the same people who left Infinity Ward to join Respawn Entertainment. So Activision must clearly be offering some great pay packets or just enticing them back with the promise of creating Modern Warfare 4. Maybe they're giving them freedom to create a new IP or progress their old IP because I know Activision wanted them to finish the Modern Warfare series and make a new Call of Duty entry after Modern Warfare 3. If they let them make Modern Warfare 4, that would entice me back if I was a fucking game developer. It was just the perfect Call of Duty trilogy, the best there's ever been. Better than Black Ops 1, better than Black Ops 2, and better, fucking definitely better than Black Ops 3. Hated that game. Now, of course, it's easy to talk a big game. The hard bit is backing it up. Now, the CEO of Infinity Ward said that the upcoming title would be the best in the franchise's history. Now, that is definitely talking a fucking big game. It's saying it would be the best Call of Duty ever released and that's competing against their old games in my opinion modern warfare 2 tied with world at war are the best call of duty games ever made the story in modern warfare 2 and then finish it in modern warfare 3 i've never felt anything like that in an fps game not even with the old old call of duties or the old medal of honors never in any battlefield game ever call of duty has always in my opinion trumped battlefield for single player and that is why i originally loved it not for the multiplayer for the fucking single player. That's me being fucking truthful. Again, but most of these cod cocksuckers just love it for in round, thinking like the fucking Rambo online. Now, the CEO of Infinity Ward refused to comment on what Infinity Ward's next game is. I mean, it'd be stupid to do so. Black Ops 4's not even been fucking released yet. We've only just got some teasers on that. So if he did that, he'd kind of put Black Ops sales in jeopardy, if you will. So don't expect any comments off the CEO of Infinity Ward just yet, lads. I like breaking you the fucking news. I love it, especially when it's good news like this. Thank you, RSE Comics, if you're watching this, for linking me this news. I'd not actually seen it until you linked it me on Twitter. Keep fucking rolling, dude. Keep sending me the articles on Twitter. I read them all. Anyway, lads, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Subscribe for more Call of Duty gameplay and news and rumours. 
I love you all, and I will see you all in the next one. And make sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. They're both linked below. I stream five times a week. I love you all, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. You say you'll try. I pray that I a thousand times before. I'm not sad, I'm not crying. If you mad, that's fine. But I think that I should go.